and after American taxpayers gave the commercial aviation industry $54 billion during the pandemic. Can you understand why some taxpayers feel like they aren't getting their money's worth from the airline industry? That's right. A lot of passengers have experienced frustration, including me and millions of others. Uh, and your uh, husband slash boyfriend. Americans. Uh, now, we've seen some improvement uh, over the course of the summer, but still not at an acceptable level in terms of performance cancellation and delays. So. It only becomes a thing when his fucking airline becomes canceled and then now it's a thing. It was never a thing before. Nobody gave a shit. Nobody gave two shits. Nobody gave a single fucking... Here's what we're doing about it. We'll collaborate with airlines when they're ready to take steps that are positive and proactive, uh, whether that's improvements in pay that are helping with hiring or flexibility in customer service. We're also going to enforce passenger and consumer rights. Uh, and this is not new for us. Matter of fact, it was last year uh, that I announced the stiffest fines ever imposed under our. How's that sound, folks? Stiffest fines for whatever, for traveling. Yeah, this is uh, not going to end well. Consumer protection program for airlines that were failing to provide refunds to passengers after they got stuck with cancellations. Matter, Matter of fact, remember when everything ran smoothly and was just fine and swimmingly and just swell? and everything was fine before all this bullshit we didn't have to worry about any of this fucking bullshit and all these butt buddy gigs but buddy but judge buddy buddy gigs gigs matter of fact we have just concluded another 10 investigations on airlines on these issues and have launched uh, another 10 or so that we're going to pursue to make sure that the consumers and passengers are protected. Uh, Look at how happy he is. Because you know what? He got paid a couple million, if not billion. You know what? You just paid for his house in the Hamptons right there. At the same time, I, I do want to emphasize again, we've seen movement in the right direction. You know, I gathered airline leaders. Uh, right next to Obama and O'Biden. After the Memorial Day travel weekend, we saw uh, a really high level of cancellations and delays there. Uh, the and July 4th swallow. travel weekend we just came through, which had some of the busiest and travel days of the year. Definitely fewer cancellations and delays. Uh, the numbers I just saw from the last few days, they're around two, two and a half percent, still higher than, than they should be. It's never gonna be zero, mm -hmm. but we really wanna see them push toward the one percent or so with realistic scheduling, uh, responsible customer service, and all of the things airlines need to do to properly service the tickets that they are selling to passengers. US it's all about that one percent, folks. You heard it straight from his mouth. Scheduling, uh, responsible customer service, and all of the things airlines need to do to one percent or so with realistic scheduling. Uh, really want to see them push toward the one percent or so with. It's all about that one percent, folks. I think I'm fucking joking. Proof is in the pudding from the fucking rabbit's mouth.